This week, you will be writing an informative writing piece. Um, you're going to write a paragraph explaining how to do an activity that you enjoy. All right, let's read through paragraph one. See if we can um, locate some of the things that make great, um, we're going to make instructions. Okay, what makes a great instructional piece? All right, let's read the first paragraph. If you like getting messy, building a sandcastle is a fun way to spend a day at the beach. You'll need a pail, a shovel, some rocks or shells, and a lot of sand. First, use the shovel to fill your pail with wet sand. Pack it tight, then flip the pail over. You may need to tap the sides to loosen the wet sand. When you pull the pail back up, you will have a sand tower. Decorate the tower with rocks and shells. Make some more towers, and before you know it, you'll have your own sand palace. All right, so we can see some of the things that make a great instructional piece. Okay, we have a topic sentence that tells and states the main idea. Okay, what they enjoy and what they're going to tell us how to do. And then we have all the materials needed. Okay, a whole list. The writers use um, linking words and phrases to connect ideas. Details make each step clear. Okay, it even tells us to pack it tight. Flip the pail over, tap the sides, pull it back up, and then decorate. Okay? Our concluding statement wraps up the instructions and tells how the instructions are useful or fun. All right? Let's look at the second paragraph. Do you love plants? You should plant a garden. There's our main idea. Topic sentence. Here's our, here's our materials. Get a small shovel, a watering can, and some seeds or seedlings. Seedlings are small plants. Here's our directions and details. First, use the shovel to dig a small hole. Gently place the seed or seedling in the hole. Next, cover the seed or seedling with soil. Then water it with your watering can. But don't overwater it. Plant as many seeds as you'd like. Keep checking in on, the pl on your plants every day. In a few weeks, your garden will be blossoming. Grant a great concluding statement that tells how it is a fun activity to do when you make um, make a garden or make or plant anything. Okay, so let's talk about word choice. All right, so good writers use exact words to help the readers understand the writing. When they write to inform good reader, writers, they choose words that clearly explain the information. Giving exact words and details will help the reader understand exactly what is described. Okay, they help to give a clear picture of what the writer's ideas are. In instructions, exact words and details tell the reader what he or she will need to do or, um, or what she will need, he or she will need. Okay, exact words and details make steps clearer, which is awesome. Instead of just get some sand, it said fill your pail with wet sand. Okay, we know exactly how much um, sand to use, uh, we have to fill a pail, and we know what kind of sand, it needs to be wet. All right, so you're going to um, work in your reader's notebook, page 194. On this page, 194, you're going to read each step of the instructions for starting a rock collection, and then rewrite the step using re exact words, sorry, and details to give more information. So, starting a rock collection, get a box. Well, what kind of box and why? A oh, sentence with exact words and details might be, find a large box that has lots of different sections, especially if you want the rocks to have their own um, section of a box. Okay, so you can use your imagination. Remember, you're right. These are um, steps, instructions for starting a rock collection. Um, just imagine you're doing that and add some exact words and details to these very, very um, non-specific sentences um, on this page.